White Mobile is about 12 years old. We started the company uh, when they were auctioning 3G spectrum around Europe to really uh, create a gateway to the mobile internet and build a better user experience, more efficient networks for a future when people would be using big multimedia content over tablets and smartphones and laptops all wirelessly all over the world. So today, operators are going through a period of rapid growth where they're driving data plans deep into their subscriber base. And that creates a competition. In, the, in, in, in a change in, in, in what's going on in the operator world, from voice over to data plans, there will be winners and there will be losers. And operators are looking to win smartphone subscribers by converting their existing subscribers to smartphone data packages and by winning, hopefully, smartphone subscribers from other operators over to them. And so the challenges of that, are, of course, are that with customers comes data usage. And traffic is really soaring on operators' networks today. This is both an opportunity in the sense of attaching data plans and winning revenue from those subscribers, as well as a threat in the sense that the cost can go up dramatically as more and more data is being consumed on these devices. So we release a mobile analytics report every quarter. The purpose of it is, of course, to update the world on what's going on in mobile operators' networks. And every quarter we take a different tact on it and we show what's interesting that's going on this quarter. What we showed this quarter was that some operators' networks are going upwards between 60 and 70% of their traffic is mobile video traffic. And on average, operators, about half of their traffic is video. Now, this is not surprising because video really takes a lot more bandwidth than the average web page or email. But the interesting thing about video is that single individual subscribers can use a lot more data traffic than, the, the, than, than they can with email or data or other types of things. So what we showed was that video is growing, growing rapidly on mobile operators' networks. Consumers demand higher resolution video. So most consumers today on mobile networks are using low definition video. They're not even using standard definition, let alone high definition. And this is largely because the networks are not yet quite ready to carry that high definition content. So video is growing, consumers demand higher quality video, and operators struggle to meet that opportunity and really win that cons uh, consumer base over. Absolutely. We, we, we've learned that co consumers are interacting with their devices differently. In the past, users went to devices and, and entered into a transaction with those devices. Click on something, download something, read something, and then close it. Today, multimedia content is being intertwined into every way that we interact with devices. Whether you're on the Facebook app, the YouTube app, the web browser, any of these applications, news applications, everything is really changing to seamlessly integrate video and rich multimedia traffic into the overall experience. While this is, and this makes a very good consumer you know, service, but in addition to that, it makes it difficult for carriers to be able to carry all that traffic and do so in a really reliable manner. When you were downloading a web page, when the web page was done downloading, that transaction was served and the customer was able to read and move on. Nowadays, these, this content is very interactive and it's constantly using the network in the background. It's really transforming the experience more from a, a sitting up experience to a lean back experience where you're consuming this content without necessarily clicking. The content is coming right at you. So today's carriers are looking to win this race to attach smartphones and data packages into their subscriber base. In addition to that, they're looking to multiply that out five or tenfold, moving from where you reach 100% penetration, where every subscriber has a data service, through machine to machine and all these other types of unique advanced services to where subscribers may have four or five or six different devices with SIMs in it connected to the mobile network, each consuming data in a very different way. And what Byte Mobile does to help them with these opportunities is to help them build the best possible data experience on their network in a differentiated fashion. So to start out with, when users are consuming video, as an example, on mobile devices, the experience is not always that great. Sometimes the video starts stalling, sometimes they take a long time to rebuffer. This is not a good experience for consumers. So what Byte Mobile does is really help the, the carrier first gain visibility into what's going on in their network, and secondly, to improve it. 
This is similar to what they've done on their voice networks, where they've been able to understand when there's a dropped call or when a call quality is, is degrading. What we're able to do is to create these same sorts of user experience metrics for the mobile internet experience, to be able to show carriers what users are getting good experiences and which ones are getting poor experiences, which parts of the country are getting poor experiences, which parts of the country are getting good experiences, trend that over time. This helps them to get an understanding into this brand new business model of the mobile internet. And then secondly, to help change that and to help improve that. Why would somebody get a poor experience? Well, multiple reasons. One could be congestion. As we're going through this rapid growth phase where consumers are adopting the service in record numbers and traffic is doubling every year or even less in some cases, it's hard to keep up with the network and to be able to add enough network capacity. So what we're able to do is to add smart capacity to the network, which allows them to get more efficient use out of their existing resources. If they can get 30, 40, or 50 percent more effective capacity out of their existing deployed capacity, it's a multiplier effect on what money they've spent on their existing network. So we're able to give them insight into what's going on in their service so that they can better adjust their resources accordingly. And then secondly, to give them more efficiency by optimizing the user experience and really allowing them to be able to say, hey, I've got the best mobile internet network in the world. And that starts with web and moves on in through video. Video is unique because it stresses the network so much. Right? Video is unlike web in that you can really continue to send more and more and more throughput. The faster the network, the more you can go to high definition, 5.1 sound and beyond. And so this is able to really stress the network. And, and therefore, users sometimes use that to compare which network is better. What our solutions do is really build the best networks for any mobile data experience, including the best mobile video experience. Mobile World Congress is always the most exciting event of the year for anybody in the mobile industry. It's exciting for many reasons. One is, is that operators and vendors alike all come together to talk about what's the latest and greatest, problems, opportunities, trends in the marketplace. We're excited this year to be here displaying all of our latest solutions and talking with our customers and talking with the media about what we're seeing in the operators' networks and what we see as the future of the mobile internet. The show's been great so far. We've had a number of uh, great sessions and we have a lot of traffic and, and, and we expect that to continue throughout the rest of the week.